Well, you must be in a market for a stick vacuum cleaner. Well, look no further. I got a 20 volt stick vacuum cleaner made by Hard for you guys to review. Guys, so here we have it. It's a Hard 20 volts brushless stick vacuum cleaner cordless stick vacuum cleaners by heart 20 volts um, this is my fourth heart product that i have uh, the first one was a lawnmower 40 volt lawnmower and then i got the weed whacker 40 volt weed whacker i also got the uh 40 volt weed blower and i'm adding this uh, 20 volt stick vacuum cleaner to my heart brand that i have here at home i wish this was a 40 volt just so i can um inter interchange it with all my other 40 volt batteries so this is the first 20 volt heart battery that or heart product that i have or own so uh, i want to do the unboxing with you all uh show you how this thing works um i was in a market for a stick vacuum cleaner after i came across my brother's uh stick vacuum cleaner uh his was a higher ticket vacuum cleaner i think he paid over uh four to five hundred bucks for his uh, i've got a pretty simple home you know hardwood floors a little area rug you know so i didn't really need anything super expensive hence why i went with this uh heart product uh, there was a couple of variations that you can get. One of them was the 109. Uh, don't quote me on the prices, but it's right around there. One of them was 109. It was a 20 volt, uh, no battery included. And then another one was 159, 20 volt, battery included, but it wasn't the pet grade. It wasn't the pet grade with the two times power. And this one is the 199 pet grade two time power. I went in with the intentions of buying the 159 one, but uh, how Walmart had these things situated, I thought this was the 159. So when I rang it out, they were like, it's 99, uh, 199. I said, you know what? Just throw it in the bag. Let's go give it a shot. See what happens, right? So uh, yeah, stick around as we do the review on this. We're gonna do the unboxing, see what's in the box and then uh, put everything together and then go from there. So in the box, uh, things are neatly packed into little sections. So we're gonna take out these sections, lay them out on the pool table and show you guys what this thing look like um, disassembled. Movie magic or cinema magic, everything comes unboxed just like that. But here's what we have in the box guys. So we've got the, uh, I guess the handheld unit, your 20 volt battery with a charger, uh, nose brush, couple of uh nozzles it looks like this is for this guy's for like maybe your blinds you know tight corners i don't know what this is for but uh it's definitely got some type of suction for your main nozzle this guy and another brush unit a wall mount unit to mount this thing on the wall trying to keep everything up on the wall and uh neatly tucked away right yeah so that's basically everything that you're going to find in the box i'm going to put this stuff together and then we'll give a uh a quick demonstration of how this thing actually works. There you have it folks, uh, it's really simple to put together once um, you know which uh, pieces you wanna put together. So I'm gonna do the, the major uh, brush head, the, the, the main nozzle, I guess, to the vacuum itself. And then um, we'll try the other uh, doohickeys out in a little bit. Uh, I pre-charged the battery. It came with uh, only one bar. But uh, I went ahead and charged it up last night. So we got a full charge on this battery. I couldn't tell you exactly how long it took to charge this battery, but I know with my 40 volt, um, four, four milliamp battery, it takes roughly about two hours to charge it. And this is with their normal charge. I believe they have a supercharger that charges up in like 15 or uh, 30 minutes or so don't quote me on the numbers but it charges it relatively quicker than the normal battery uh, charger but uh with this guy here i'm gonna say it probably charge it up full uh within like two hours or so i don't quote me on that time i 
plugged it in overnight and checked it up in the morning. So uh, it's fully charged. We're gonna give it a shot, okay? So you got your 20 volt battery. We're gonna slap it in. And uh, this thing feels light. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not super heavy and it's not super light. I mean, it, it is a battery right here, so. But there's a power button here. It looks like there's an eco button and then there's another button. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Here we are rubbed with. Oh, we got a red light. We got a red light. We got a red light. I don't know what the red light is. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Oh, we still got a red light. However, it is picked up some some dirt. I don't know why the red light is on. Oh, yeah. Guys, I think the red light means I can't, um, the brush is not spinning. It's sucking, but it's not spinning. Doing a really good job on a hardwood floor. It turns really nice. I mean, when you turn it, it's turning. I wanted to pick that up. I want to keep the popcorn. pretty well. job on um, hard area rugs like this one here. Let me take this thing off real quick. So here's the amount of junk this thing picked up off of my floor. Between the hardwood and this carpet, I mean, I'd, it, did, it did quite a decent job. Ha ha ha. You know, the joys of having kids, when you tell them not to eat in the couch, they eat in the couch. And what do you get? This stuff. Crumbs. Crumbs. But let's see if this uh, 20 volts stick vacuum cleaner can handle the crows. <laughs> All right, that was a high pressure nozzle. I'm trying a different nozzle out. Uh, this is how this nozzle looks. It's relatively short uh, with a brush on it. Oh, we got a red light. Let's check the battery. 
Well, I got about two uh two lights left. Um, we just charged this thing up. I charged it overnight, full charge. So uh, you guys see how much of a surface area I was able to accomplish with a full 20 volt battery charge. Let's try to get some of the stuff out of the couch. I think I did a good job. But the main job was for the fluffy carpet and it's not able to handle the fluffy carpet. So for 200 bucks, not able to handle the fluffy carpet, it's a little bit of a bust. So we're gonna make a decision here. But um, this is what it picked up from the hardwood floor and the hard carpet. Uh, it did a really good job. So if you got hardwood floor, hard carpets, uh, this 20 volt hard stick vacuum, maybe the product for you well guys there you have it i hope this review helped you out a little bit in making your decision on which stick vacuum cleaner to go with for myself i'm probably going to return this back to the store and get a different model and or uh, higher uh, voltage just so i can you know uh do my area rugs i have three area fluffy area rugs that i would like to clean with this vacuum cleaner so for that reason i'm going to be returning this back to the store and going with another product uh, make your decision wisely and uh don't look back but guys that's it for this review i want to thank the new subscribers to the channel real quick i see you guys we just crossed over the 100 subscriber mark which is awesome the next goal is 200 let's keep that momentum going i really appreciate when you guys uh you know subscribe to the channel like the videos and you know engage me in the comment section whether it's a good comment or a bad comment, you know, we all learn from this stuff. So I like making videos. I like, you know, throwing these videos out there for you guys to uh, watch and critique me on. It helps me out become a better content creator. So going forward, uh, let's uh, all become a family here at the Pro 46 Drift Team. And y'all already know what we like to do. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Take